TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Cloudy, Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's off 128, about four tenths of a percent, a half a percent for the S&P, 22 points there, eight tenths for the Nasdaq 100, 120 points there, three tenths for the Russell, one and a half percent for the semis are down 50 points out there. Gold is up 21 dollars. Silver's up 21 pennies. That's a one percent move basically for both of those. You've got uh, light speed crude trading out at 80. 632. That's up four percent, three and a half bucks. Natural gas up four pennies, a little over one and three tenths percent move. And the 30-year Treasury up nearly one point, printed out 111.13. Let's go try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left-hand corner with the ES minute. What do, we, what do we know about it? Well, we know on the daily time frame, we have a daily buy the D point pattern. We know that price uh, found support at the bottom of its daily profile today. That level is at 43.70. Watch that. If there were a Close below 4370 and would likely signal move back to test that 4235.50 area. That's that buy the D point bottom. Short of that, price is likely to go target 4370. Spot volatilics is still above its 50 day exponential moving average. That says that sellers are the ones that are still in control of the market. The NQ thinks otherwise. Why? Because it's got a TD nine count bottom and it's got price that's trading above the bottom of its profile and likely wants to target 15 to 98. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, U.S. dollar index has a road momentum indicator top. It did try to uh, trade higher, did trade higher overnight, but right now price is finding resistance at 106.10. If we take a look at gold, you know, all the activity going on over in the Middle East, obviously impacting some of these markets, not all of the markets, but some of these markets. And if we take a look at Goldilocks, prices run right up into potential resistance. That's the top of its daily profile. And that area to be watching is 1862.80. A close above that would signal a further move higher back to its highs in the 1975 level silver just like gold finding resistance where the sellers are located the top of that daily profile and that number that uh, buyers need to overcome is 2020 22.03 i don't know where the 2020 came from but 22.03 light sweet crude it has a new profile it's bearish in structure it did gap up this morning uh, it just consolidated or traded with inside that profile. And the sell zone here is 89.62 to 92.32. We had nice move in natural gas, but where did it find resistance? Where it last broke down. That's at the price point to $3.43. And a 30-year treasury just trading sideways, but still below support out there, which at 112.31. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Zed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.